I think G2 Esports will become one of the biggest sports organizations in the world. G2 do the unthinkable! We are brash, we are bold, but we do it in a very human way, very direct way. What we try to, to build is a culture of risk takers. We will secure first seed at MSI and they will lift the Spring Split Shield. Trying things, failing, accepting to learn and come back stronger. My name is Alban Dechelotte. I'm the CEO of G2 Esports. As a CEO, my role is to set the long-term vision for the company, both in terms of like initiatives and activities. For example, which region we're going to invest next, which diversification we're going to take for G2, as well as maintaining the North Star in terms of like brand and culture, not just what we say, but also how we do it. In my position, I never know what the week will look like. We have a series of meetings where we're going to talk about what challenges uh, every people in your organization are facing and how we can help them solve them. But we never expect what is the next crisis, discussion about players that we didn't expect, and what is the next opportunity in terms of like entering a new games or participating to a new competition. My week is always 50% of like scripted plan meetings and 50% of improvisation to take advantage of new opportunities. The brand is the sum of every single action, every single connection we have with our fans and our stakeholders. There's not one moment that define it. It's the combination of all the moments. The only way to steer in that direction is to have a clear definition and understanding of where we want to be, what the brand stands for, and have a very articulated way to share this information internally so that all the action, all the execution of our brands are consistent to our this North Star. When we try to define the very unique personality of a G2 brand, we usually say three things. First, we said fireworks. Because fireworks is probably the best way to describe the level of ambition and excitement that the G2 brand stands for. The second aspect is probably good sports, because we are very competitive. We have nothing else in mind but trying every day to put the 1% chance we have more to win the next tournament. However, as competitive as we are, we also accept the defeat, because there is no defeat. We win or we learn. Finally, we stand for being unapologetically raw. We are brash. We are bold, but we do it in a very human way, very direct way, without always forgetting to make jokes about ourselves first. The key skill that I've been using from my past experience is around negotiation and sales. He bows. I see that every day when we talk to a player to invite him to join the G2 adventure, on even trying to recruit the next talent that we believe could bring some value to the organization. It's all about like inviting this person into our vision, into our dream. And this skill of selling a immaterial vision and sometimes negotiating to find the arguments that will make this person join us is a very valuable skill. I think the most important thing in this role is to feel that mentorship and delegation is a superpower. If you don't like to delegate, if it's a frustration for you to let someone do something a little bit longer than you, a little bit less excellent than you think you could do it. Forget it. This whole thing is about the satisfaction of seeing people, receiving the gifts of the feedback, receiving a, a new task as a challenge, helping them to grow into the new task and seeing them becoming better and better every day. I think esports is a, is a unique combination of sports and entertainment. Sports and esports have become very similar. Preparation for the players outside of the game, commercialization, I'm thinking of marketing. In this aspect, I see a lot of professionals that can go from one to the other and benefit from experience. Alternatively, in terms of events, in terms of broadcast, esports is much closer from music and entertainment. So I see these two worlds colliding and I see esports taking the learnings from both uh, directions. We are the Real Madrid of esports. We're one of the best players, the best athletes in all the major games. Winning is the only goal. People see us as the entertainer, the clowns, but deep dive, that's what we care about. And we want to win. Yes, we love content. And we don't love content for the sake of documenting reality. We love content as scripted to tell stories that is beyond what the 
characters and the players are in the real life. Don't get complacent. I was comfortable at Havas. I was managing director at 30 years old. I had built an agency in Germany from scratch in two years, and I trusted my gut. It changed my career. Don't be complacent, challenge yourself. If you do the same thing more than three years, you're wrong. You should learn something, you should change something. Industry, territory, or craft. Change something every two years. And if you do that, you can keep building something that will take you to the next level. My role will be always about anticipating the future trends, building bridges with partners and publishers, and recruiting the best talent that will add value to the team, but also fit with the culture that is so unique at G2.